Welcome to Digital Shortage. We're here for the Play uh, Day, which is all about gamification, and we're lucky to have Marta Hansen, who is a multimedia producer at Welcome Trust. So Marta, how was your presentation today? Can you maybe summarize it for the unlucky uh, audience who are not there today? I can't remember exactly what I said, or went past a bit of a blur, but basically my point was that uh, there's an appetite for educational games, that you can be successful making games that have um, learning or sort of historical, factual, scientific content, um, and that you know people really enjoy it when you do that. So you work uh, at uh, the Welcome Trust and trying to develop an engagement with uh, audience who might not be uh, otherwise, uh, int especially interested in this subject. How do you actually develop this? You mean what's our process for developing yes. games? Um, well, the, the first thing that we do is try and come up with a concept that will work really well as a game. Um, and so far that's come out of thinking about ideas from exhibitions that we've got. So the latest one is about brains. And we thought there might be something in, interesting in neuroscience. Um, so we put a neuroscientist in a room with a game a games agency preloaded, uh, the exhibition creator and ourselves. And we, we try and work out what it is about brain science or what are the biological rules because if you've got rules you can turn them into a game so that's what we did with Axon our latest game and um, so the process is very much rooted in this collaborative kind of start um, and then we work with Preloaded um, to sort of turn that into a game idea and that's really what they do very well is turn that into something really really fun um, and then we the sort of the final part of what we do is put it out there. We don't put it on our site and expect people to come to us. We put it out on sites where game players already are. So big portals like Congregate and Newgrounds. And we also really did build it in a way so that pirates, pirates or other sites can just rip it and take it off to their sites, but we can still track it. So we, we kind of encourage that. So it looks like you're having a lot of fun developing uh, these uh, tools. What kind of uh, feedback uh, have you got from especially uh, kids and young generation? Um, well, the games aren't necessarily aimed at kids. Um, we know that actually the, the people that play our games are skewed quite young, so it's, it's mostly under 34, but particularly there is a sort of group of you know, people under 16. Um, and in, in general, the feedback is really, really positive for our games. We, you know, we can see the comments that people put on the portals, but we also do surveys and we follow up with interviews. Um, so in general, people like the games. They really like when there's historical content. They thought that was really interesting, especially when it was a bit controversial in High Tea, one of our games. Um, I don't know whether I can separate out sort of uh, the responses from particularly kids or young people because we haven't done testing with their age group, uh, although I'd be very interested to hear. Yeah. And just final question, uh, gamification is a word so trendy it hurts, yeah. uh, but it looks like, especially at Digital Shortage, it's everywhere. Um, what's your global idea on where it's going right now? Um, it kind of depends what people mean when they say gamification. There's, there's been, a, it was kind of claimed by um, people doing something which is really more akin to marketing and this kind of idea of pointsification, which I really hate. And it's taking this extrinsic part of gaming, which is at you know points and the badges, which really isn't the main thing that makes a game fun, but kind of adding them into other activities and hoping that turned it into a game. That's that just it doesn't work. It's rubbish. And you know even for those people for the achievements it does appeal to to them. You know. They they'll get overloaded, you can't do that to everything, there's just not capacity for it. Um, if you mean gamification in t turning um, factual things or um, kind of other things into like proper games that have real intrinsic value, um, then you know that's that's gaming, so it's kind of everything. So I don't know, my, my problem with gamification is that either it's so narrow that it's, uh, and, and it's sort of meaningless and it, it's got no future as far as I'm concerned, um, or it really is just games which I think have a, a wonderful future and all kinds of potential to do really exciting things. Thank you so much, Marta, for talking to us. Uh, this was Mark reporting for Vision TV, Channel Plug and Play. Uh, more videos for Digital Shortage coming soon. Thank you for watching.